Shannon, who's the real Tua? The one we saw through the first 11 games or the one who struggled the past two contests? Maybe somewhere in the middle. Uh, Skip, I, it, it seemed to me maybe it was just me, but it seemed like Miami receivers had a hard time locating the football because he threw a couple of passes and then Tyreek didn't see the ball until it hit the dirt. He threw one to ro or waddle up the rail and he didn't see it till it hit but it I, the dirt. I've never seen that happen in that stadium right. before. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't get it. <laughs> the Chargers didn't seem to have any, the Chargers didn't seem no. to have any problem, no. and Herbert was at his absolute best. He was. He can just do things, Skip, and that's what's so like. Damn, why aren't they better than this? Because you see the man roll to his right and throw the ball on a dime, fifty yards. You John, see him. It was John Elway all over. Yes, him. and you see him make the throw. That throw late in the ball game, Skip, when they didn't want to give the ball back, the one he hit mm -hmm. Keenan Allen with on the sideline. Beautiful. There are only a handful of quarterbacks that's currently playing or that's ever played that can make that throw, or who would even try. Oh, it. Yeah, yeah, because. Mm -hmm. You late with that one, it's going back the other way and you find yourself having to do a comeback and to try to win the game now. Skip, look, I mean, Tua was 10 of 28 last night. I think it hurt him a little bit that Tyreek got gimpy. He ended up having to come out the game because he wasn't running like he, was, like he normally would run. Um, but their defense isn't that, isn't that good. Because give them credit last night, they did try, they did hold the, uh, the uh, Chargers down somewhat. But they were giving up 33 points a game on the road. Yeah. They're, they're I, not, I thought they got after Justin Herbert they did. pretty well. I think the thing is, Skip, it's going to be very incumbent. I don't know now. They got the. Uh, they still got another game with the Bills up in Buffalo, and we know what type it's of coming up now. We we, yeah. we we know what type yeah. of weather it happens in Buffalo. Yeah. Miami is not has never really been a a great weather team. Mm -mm. No matter what year, no matter who the quarterback's been, mm -hmm. going to Buffalo this time of year is not very conducive. But when I look at Tua, Skip, I mean, I think Mike McDaniel has done a great job of putting into his situations where he's throwing in space and guys are open. Last night, because they couldn't run the ball, they were playing a lot of man, heavy man coverage underneath, they were. but they had safety help over the top. Mm -hmm. It's like, guys, get as physical as you want to because we got these safeties back here to help you out over the top. Mm -hmm. And that calls to it because he's used to throwing guys Waddle normally being wide open, Tyreek wide open. And now he had to throw in the tighter windows. And they did a great job. They pressured him. They corralled him. Uh, Van Oy got after him a little bit. They had he a couple. Did. Uh, um, got after him. But, Skip, I don't think he's as good as those 11 games. I don't think he's as bad as these two games. I think he's somewhere in the middle. Because the first 11 games, Skip, had him in the MVP discussion. Well, he was leading the league in QBR for yeah. what, six, eight weeks in a row. Yeah. Okay. I preface everything I'm about to say about Tua with I think he's really a great young man mm -hmm. with a big, good heart. Overcome a lot. He has. And I believe those guys love being around him and, and sort of vibing off him because he has very positive energy and he's, he's high-quality human being. But I'm right where I was before the draft. <laughs> He's smallish. Yes. He's a soft armor. Yes. He has little to no velocity. True. He, he has to kind of wind up to throw it deep. Yes. And, and two-thirds of the time, it just doesn't quite get there. Right. And he's always been a little fragile. Yes. Dating to his days at Alabama when it was reported he had six or seven different surgeries mm -hmm. while he was at Alabama. Right. And he can be vulnerable to, to any sort of headshot, as we saw earlier this year. Right. And the weird thing about him is, for a smallish guy, he's not that quick or athletic around oh, he's, the pocket. He's, he's slow. He's, he's terribly slow. He's actually slow. kind of slow. Yeah. He had one nice run last night where it went for 14 yards. But he actually ducked between two defenders who were just afraid to hit him right. because you're, it's Tua. You don't want to hit yeah, him. Yeah, it seemed like he right? was stuck in second gear. I know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So all that adds up to, I don't know. Like, right. I, like yeah. I, he, he's not the answer to me. And remember, the previous regime was doing their damnedest to replace him. Well, they wanted Justin Herbert. Well, they sure. didn't want Tua to begin with. It was reported that the quarterback wanted Justin Herbert. And obviously, Brian Flores was never in on Tua and right. made, it, made life miserable for Tua. Right. So they were trying to go in a different direction. And then there was the dalliance with the flirting with Tom Brady right. that cost them some... Penalty, right? right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So all that's going on, swirling around Tua. So I don't, I don't envy what he's been through or is going through. But to your point, Mike McDaniel made miracles with him. Yes. But but the way you did it was we've seen this phenomenon happening more and more this year. They went and got Tyreek. 
Well, he's just the most dangerous deep threat I've ever seen in yes. all my career. And he got one again. And, and he got another one. I'll get to that in just a second. But he, he's they already had they drafted Jalen Waddle. So now you got a one-two punch of just pure raw speed, right. the likes of which nobody else has. Nope. Then they, they went and got my little third down playmaker, mm -hmm. a little Cedric Wilson. Right. He's really good, right. trust me. And he will make big catches at big moments. They don't utilize him enough. I agree. And then Trent Sherfield out of Vanderbilt University is pretty, I, I got to tell you, he's had some run in this league where he can run by people. Yes. Okay, so the, those four together, th there's not a better right. receiving core than these four as right. far as just pure wide outs go, yeah. right? Yeah, they're, Skip, they're, and he was, he was, Skip, he was just bad last night. That was okay. the worst completion percentage, 35.7%. Since Sam Darnold in 2019 okay. at 34%. Right. That's the worst in franchise history since David Woodley in 1980 at 31%. He 10 was of 28. Horrendous. Oh, he was horrendous. Okay, so, so what happened last night? The weirdest play of the year happened ah, for Tyreek, if we could see it real quick, because this is a ball that's just in the pile, yeah. in the scrum, and it squirts out. Skip, when he picked this ball up, I say, Tyreek, go. Because <laughs> you know oh, everybody just standing around, Skip. And, and he actually looped. Look at 32. But he looped completely around the scrum, and once he hits third gear, he's it's history. Look, three guys, they're not <laughs> even in the ballpark. Okay. <laughs> I right. do. Play of the year. All right. Weird play of the year. And here we go, off to the races again. All right, so that kept them in the game because yeah. that cut it to 10 to 7. Right. Then, to your point, he caught a 60 yard touchdown pass, but can we see what happened to Michael Davis? Who, by the way, if you didn't notice last night, Michael Davis can flat out cover. Yeah. Because he's tall. He's, he's a 6 big two. physical corner, yeah. yeah. And he knows he has help okay. on the top, but you got to be careful with he this kid. He got kids tripped get. up, okay? He got tripped up. He got feet tangled. Yeah. Or he might have been able to get a hand on the throw. And it was a very good throw. It was the best throw Tua made all yeah. night. But I'm saying, he had been blanketing Tyreek and running with right. him pretty well. By the way, I looked it up. Would you believe Michael Davis went to Glendale High School out here in Southern California, really? in the L.A. area, and he won the state 100 meters all four years he was in high school? Wow. He can run. That's but, saying something. Okay, then he it went to BYU, but he wasn't even drafted. But it, you can just see yeah, if you, he can run. There are certain states you win the 100 meters, you win the 100 meters in Texas, California, I Florida, get, Georgia. I, I got you it. can fly. I got it. <laughs> okay, so those two plays kept them in a 23-17 to 17 ball game. But Tua had his worst game this side of last week, San Francisco. If I'm, if I'm Mike McDaniel, I say, hey, ain't nobody showering. Just get y'all ass on the plane because this West Coast trip was terrible. It was terrible. Everybody going to be smelling like uh, the overtime. Yeah. But we ain't showering. We got to get up out of here because this is a bad, this is left a bad taste in our mouths. Okay. Yeah. Gut feeling, Tua, as great a kid as he is, he's not the long-term answer for right. Miami. He has had, by his standards, Given his ceiling, right. he's had a tremendous year. Yes. Well, uh, like an all time great year, given his degree of difficulty right. for his size, his arm, his uh, are you, lack are you, of durability. Are you looking at a quarterback in the draft? I, I, I would, but that's just me. I, but I've never been sold on him. You were more sold in the very right. beginning, but not so much now. But I knew, Skip, in order for you to maximize what you saw him, you had to get him what he had at Alabama. He had Rugg, he, he had it. Waddle, he, he had it. Devontae Smith, he had Jerry Judy. Yep. So you will give him back, and you look at the running backs that he had. So yep. if you're going to give him back, I agree. that's the only way. You can't say, well, I need you to elevate the receivers. You need to put receivers around him to elevate him. And they did. They, di they did. Okay. They and, absolutely and did. The new young head coach, he, he fed like off him. that. I yeah. like him. Yeah. I like him. It certainly matters who you're surrounded by. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.